Hello friends, I am Swapna Shetty. In this video, we are going to learn about custom tags, about using custom tag API and how do we create custom tags with attributes. So custom tag is basically a user defined tag as the name itself indicates. And the syntax of a custom tag is prefix colon followed by a tag name and the name value pairs. If a custom tag has a body in it, then we need to write the body code inside the custom tag before closing it. And advantages of custom tags, it, it eliminates the need of scriptlet tag, which is basically considered as a bad approach in JSP. Of writing scriptlet tags is a bad approach in JSP. And it also separates the business logic from JSP, which is easy to maintain. And reusability is the custom tags makes the possibility of using the same business code again and again. When we have to create a custom tag, the first and foremost package to be imported is Java java.x.servlet.jsp.tagext package, which contains all the classes and interfaces for creating custom tag. And JSP tag is the root interface in the custom tag hierarchy. And it is also a marker interface. That is, it has got no methods inside it. And tag interface is the sub-interface of JSP tag interface, which provides methods to perform some action at the start and end of the tag. And we have, got, we have got a few fields in tag interface like eval body include which evaluates the body content and eval page which evaluates the JSP page content after the custom tag and skip body which skips the body content of the tag and skip page skips the JSP content after the custom tag and the return type of all these fields is int. Coming to the methods of tag interface, like we have got few methods like set page context, which sets the given page context object, and set parent, which sets the parent of the tag handler. And do start tag is invoked by the JSP page implementation object, where JSP programmer is responsible to override this method and write the business logic. If, we, if that logic has to be performed at the start of the tag. Similarly, J, do end tag is invoked by the JSP page implementation object and programmer should override this method and define the business logic to be performed at the end of the tag. Iteration tag interface is the sub interface of the tag interface. As the name itself indicates, iterate. It is to re-evaluate the body which contains some additional method to re-evaluate the body. And it contains only one field defined in the iteration tag interface, that is eval body again, which re-evaluates the body content. And there is only one method in this interface called do after body, which is responsible to execute after the evaluation of the body. And if this method returns eval body include, then the body content will be re-evaluated. If it returns skip body, then body content will not be evaluated. And tag support class, is, it is a class which implements the iteration tag interface and acts as the base class for the new tag handlers. That is, whenever we have to create a Whenever we want to create a custom tag, the first and foremost thing we need to do is we need to extend this tag support class and it provides some additional methods. And how do we create a custom tag is first, there are three steps to create a custom tag. We need to create tag handler class and perform some action at the to be performed at the start or end of the tag. And we need to create tag library descriptor, which is also known as TLD file, and define the tags in that file. And finally, we need to create a JSP file that uses the custom tag defined in the TLD file. So let's look at an example. I'm creating a custom tag that prints the current date and time of the system. So in the JSP samples, I create class called my tag handler 
which is in a package com.educators. So first and foremost thing we need to do is extends tag support. So which is located in a so we need, it is not recognizing this class so we need to import the package called import java x dot Java X dot servlet dot JSP dot tag ext dot star. So we are getting a compile time error saying Java X dot servlet cannot be resolved. So we need to add servlet API dot jar file for it. So configure build path, add external jars. So let's servlet API dot jar and then say OK. Still we are getting this error, so we need to add JSP dot API dot jar file also for that. Configure build path. Add external charts, JSP API. Yeah, the error got removed. Now, this element, in this we need to have a method called do start tag. And the return type of would be something like public static end so within the handler I have to use the I have to write something on the JSP so for that I require a JSP writer instance and we do get that JSP writer instance with page context object dot get out method So let's remove the static. Page context is an object which is by default available to the JSP page. So the return type of the get out method is the JSP writer as you can see. So I need to capture it in a variable JSP writer out equals to page context dot get out. And JSP writer cannot be resolved to a type so I need to import the package that is sub package JSP and do start tag must return a result of type int okay I need to add return statement I'll do it later and now I got uh, out object which I, on which I can with, using which I can write on a JSP so I just use out dot print command for printing on the console so for that I just use calendar class dot get instance dot get time that is I get the date of the current system. So I need to accept unhand I need to handle this exception or that is IO exception. So I just surround it with try catch. So now this has to return 
an int variable so i just i'm just skipping the body of the tag so i just use skip body as a return type so this is a basic handler class which i am using out object to write it on a jsp and printing the current date system date and time and i'm not evaluating the body of the tag that is i'm skipping the body now i need to write a handler class that is tld this is the handler class i need to write a tld file so in the web inf folder i just create one more xml file the name i give as my tax dot tld file so under which i write taglib in which i have tlib version i am just mentioned as 1.0 and jsp version 1.2 and short name is one tag simple custom tag in this i have to declare now tag which tag i am using that is the name of the tag I'm just mentioning it as the name of the tag could be anything so i am just mentioning it as today i am printing today's system date and time and the other tag we need to use tag class that is my handler that is com dot educator dot my tag handler so close the tag and close the tag lib directory so this is a tld file where we need to declare our tags and the corresponding tag handler class now i require a jsp page so new jsp index dot jsp file already exists so i'm just mentioning it as index 1 index 1 dot jsp in which i just use the taglib directory the taglib and i have to mention the uri that is web inf my tax dot tld file and the prefix would be i can give any prefix i'm just mentioning as m and then close that is percentile and i just print current system date and time is just say m m today so let's run this and check So you can find it printed current system date and time is this one so that is jsp in jsp we are using taglib taglib tag 
that is, this is our custom tag where we are mentioning our prefix and the tld file so when i say when i use the custom tag with the prefix m and today is the name of the tag which is declared in my tags.tld so with this name it goes to the corresponding tag class that is my tag handler and executes the do tag method in which i am using the jsp writer object and printing the current system date and time so if you want to include the attribute for a custom tag for example i have to first include write the a member in, write a member in the tag handler and write a setter me method for this that is in the source just generate getter and setter for the number in which i don't require this getter i just require the setter method and if i have to calculate the cube of a number so i just change this that is number into number into number and in my tags tld file for the same tag i have to write an attribute tag attribute in which the name of the attribute would be some number and i have to mention it as required with the boolean value so in the jsp page along with the tag i use number equals to for some number attribute name and the value corresponding value so here i change that as cube of four is so we are getting some warning here undefined attribute name number so in the tag lib the number is the attribute so let's refresh so let's execute and check run as run on server restart the server so we are getting one error say attribute number invalid for tag today according to the tld so we need to check this tld file within the tag i have declared okay the it is attribute there's a spelling mistake so cube of 4 is 64 so to our custom tag we have actually added attribute attribute that is number so in order to add an attribute first we need to define the member variable in the handler class and the corresponding setter method and in the tld file we need to mention that attribute with this tags like name and required so that's all with the session Thank you.